Com. All right, today is December 9th. We just had about 3,000 people pass away in our country. You need to wear a mask, and we have masks. <laughs> Well, we actually, yeah. we used to, um, a very popular mask we had that had filter inserts, uh, it came with five inserts, and then they stopped making that version. So now we have a version with two inserts, but it's pretty much the same. It's a very nice mask, to be honest. Um, it's very soft on the inside, and on the outside, it's kind of, kind of this tougher uh, water-repellent fabric. And then um, there's a pocket inside, and it comes with these two uh, PM 2.5 filter pieces, and um, you open it up, and then you, uh, oh, sorry, this is a cutaway showing um, that there's three layers to it. Some people care about that. Um, but you can uh, slip the filter into the mask, um, and that way it's good not only for uh, keeping your coughs and sneezes and salivas yeah. away from other people, but if you are in an area that has smog, it'll also help filter smog that you breathe in. Okay, next up. These were in stock. They went fast, but... We're going to get more, but um, get more. just so people know that they did uh, get into get into stock, and we did get some. Um, we weren't expecting these until the next year, but they came in. This is the only keyboard part of the Raspberry Pi 400. You don't get the power supply, the HDMI cable, the power, or the book, um, or the mouse. Uh, you just get the Pi 400. Uh, it's still a beautiful piece of uh, British engineering. Um, uh, sign up if you haven't gotten them. We promise we, we have many, 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 many on order. Uh, well, as soon as we get them, we put them in and we notify folks. All right, next up. And next up, uh, we've got this kind of like a, a new product, but it's also kind of a revision. We've had the Teensy 3 Smart Matrix adapter, and now we have um, the version for the uh, TNC4, which is great. I mean, this, the TNC4 has so much memory and so much power. It'll be able to drive, like, you know, dozens of these panels uh, tiled together. You could you do stuff without a computer. Um, definitely, like, large animation scale. Um, I've got a demo here. Me... You want to show it off? Uh, you want to hold it up? Or what do you want to do? Well, let me plug it in. Hold on. Things get complicated. Where is my... Hold on, I gotta get this. Uh, oh, there's my cable. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, can you go to, to like me? Because it's gonna be so yeah, large. Yeah, it's gonna be right. Let me power it up. Let's see. Let's see. Um, this, is, this cable's really short. Oh no, hold on. Which type, what type of cable? I have a micro B. Like this? Yeah. I don't know where this is coming from, but let's see what happens. Let's see. Well, this is powered. It powers the matrix separately. Hold on. Try again. Okay. Much better. Um, so it can drive. Uh, I just have it plugged into a 64 by 64 matrix, and you can see it's doing this little demo. Um, this is it on the back. So the smart matrix plugs in. It's a little bit like the matrix portal, which um, I definitely was inspired by this board. And it's got a TNC4 in it. It's got all the pinouts. Um, optimized basically so you just solder headers onto the TNC4 and plug it in and uh, you're golden. So this is um, only for the TNC4 and it can drive like massive number of matrices. We also have a TNC3 version. Uh, so if you have a TNC3 it's still very good. You can definitely drive plenty of RGB matrices no problem um, but this is just the optimized one for the TNC4. And then the library also got a refresh. It can play animated GIFs and like like little video grams and stuff, uh, do text and animations and graphics and all that good stuff. So um, if you like the Matrix portal, but you like the Teensy, who doesn't, uh, check out the Smart Matrix. It's a wonderful add-on. It also has a little like cable thingy um, to connect to dot stars or NeoPixels. Very handy. Yeah, here's other photos of the board. Yes. All right, next up. Next up is we've got a lot of like updated not new, not new, not old, but kind of like updated, but very much updated. Um, these are this kind of cool LED, like flat, um, like sparkly LEDs that come on a flat sheet. And this is kind of an interesting illuminator. Like we have, um, you know, flex LEDs that are like very tightly packed together. But what's interesting about this material is um, you can see um, like on uh, the still image, it's, it's got this like sparkly effect to it. So what they do is they actually like grind up LEDs, like the, the white LED diodes, and then they like paint them onto the surface and they get like overall like a, a flat white output. And the version we had before was checkerboarded and the version we have now is like more solid. Like it isn't a solid, but you can still see like a 
you know, a, um, a gridded effect, but it's not like a checkerboard like the previous one. Uh, it needs like 12 volts and draws, you know, maybe like an amp or so. Um, it's not low power because it has all these individual LEDs. But if you want something that's ultra flat and has um, this kind of wide illumination, I don't know of anything else. I mean, this is basically like really nice EL panel material. This is what you would expect EL panel to look like, but doesn't. Okay. Next up. All right. Now we actually have some new products. So um, we have, uh, we showed this off on... Um, I think it's not out yet. Also, we had it on um, Desk of Lady Ada. It's a little adapter for the Wiimote. So if you remember the Wii, it had these like nunchucks and controllers, and they had this kind of funky U-shaped adapter. Well, it turns out this is actually I squared C. And there have been um, like nunchuck adapters that um, you you know break them out into pins, and you can solder to them, and, and you can control them from you know, an Arduino or, or from Python or CircuitPython. Um, so we just made it into a, a beautiful STEM IQT board, um, and we used a nice thick material and uh, gold plating, so it's very solid. It's not loose at all. And then you get two handy STEM IQT connectors. Everything's level shifted to 3.3 volts, so you can use it with Arduino or with CircuitPython or Python. Um, we have a CircuitPython library, and there's tons of um, example Arduino code. So I could show the demo. my other thing. Okay, so here we go. So um, to show this off, so yeah, so this is like, I've got this like nunchuck here and it's got um, a joystick. This is what I recommend people use it with. It's got this um, joystick that can do X and Y. So that's kind of handy. It's got two buttons. It's called Z and C. And then inside of it, it's got an accelerometer. So you can do like rather complicated like motion control because you can like press the button, do the joystick and um, twist and rotate. The um, cable comes with this like adapter at the end. So instead of cutting this off, what you just do is you just look for the little section that says notch up. There's a notch in the connector and it just snugly fits in. And we used an extra thick PCB. This is a two millimeter thick PCB instead of 1.6 millimeter. And that's what actually makes it like really solid. That and there's these like cutouts you can see in the PCB that like there's these little nub grabbers, these like teeth. When you um, plug it in, it grabs it and uh, it does not let go. So it's nice and solid. You don't have to worry about that. And then um, we just used uh, this library found online called like the WeCheck library. It's like eight years old because this these um, People have been using these for like you know, almost a decade, but it works really well. You can get the joystick X and Y, so you can see the joystick goes back and forth, zero to 255. When you press the button, it knows you've pressed the button. And then the top numbers are the accelerometer from zero to 1000. Um, so a great way to like add a very slick interface to like your robot, for example, like you want to drive something or you want to control user interface. Um, well, this is very handy and it's very intuitive for people. All right. Next up, star of the show tonight is uh, besides you, Lady Ada. Thanks. Besides our community, besides our customers, besides our team, is the Can Feather. Yay! It's finally out. It's in the shop, so you can pick them up. Finally, um, we were previewing it last week. So the Can M4 Feather is basically we took the Feather M4, which is like one of our most popular boards, and it's also in stock, and um, we upgraded the chip from the SAM D51 to the SAM E51. The SAM E51 is basically functionally compatible. All the pins do the exact same thing, has the same amount of memory, same speed, same all that good stuff, except there's a couple pins that can now be used for hardware CAN bus support. Um, and they're coincidentally on the right. It's almost like I knew that this was eventually going to be made. And um, on the end there, you can see there's a, um, a transceiver and uh, a terminal block connection with CAN bus high and low. Those are differential signals. Uh, there's a little um, mini boost converter that uh, gives you a solid five volts because CAN bus really wants to have five volts for the signaling. It's a kind of an old protocol. Um, and it has also a terminator that you can, uh, uh, 260 ohm resistors as a terminator, you can uh, cut those if you uh, don't want to have a terminator. Um, and uh, you can also put the uh, terminator to sleep. And so 
we have this handy little video showing, uh, thanks to Jelly for demoing this. So you have two canned feathers and you see the yellow and blue wires between them and those are the only communication data communications between them. You connect can H to can H, can L to can L, and you can have like as many devices as you want. Like it's easily a hundred on the same two pins. It's like I squared C, except um, instead of like I addressing like I squared C does, you just sort of listen to messages that are, are designed for you and you can set your own address. And then you see if you twist the potentiometer on one, the color of the NeoPixel changes on the other. So if you watch your hands, but then look at the opposite board, you'll see the NeoPixel color changes. So it's sending a message saying, hey, the potentiometer moved, and then the feather listens to the message from the other feather and says, okay, I'm gonna change my NeoPixel. So I also have the demo live here on my two boards. Um, again, they're, they have a potentiometer wired up and they have a NeoPixel, um, but otherwise they're only connected over the CAN bus. And then when I twist this knob, you'll see this one gets the message. And when I twist this knob, this one gets the message. So it's actually running the same code on both of these. Um, because I'm just listening to like any message, but you could have dozens of these um, all on this nice solid differential signal um, and they can be addressed and you can send messages to a particular one or you can listen to like all messages and, and do stuff. But it's like, uh, you know, people always ask, how do I have multiple mic controllers communicate with each other? And if you only have two, you can do UART. And if you have more than two, you can use I squared C, but it gets a little flaky and, and difficult. Um, CAN bus is like super solid and also means you can communicate with other industrial robots and motors and sensors. Um, we'll be able to do car based CAN bus projects and it's not, uh, it, it's nice and fast. It can do, I think up to, uh, 10 megabit per second, uh, CAN FD. So it's kind of like the next generation. So you'll be able to work with anything. We've got a library code in Arduino and CircuitPython. And because it's native, you don't have to worry about an SPI CAN converter. It's, it all happens inside the chip itself. Um, so very handy. It does all the buffering for you and all that good stuff. So I think people who've been waiting to do CAN bus projects with CircuitPython or with Arduino, um, this is a very powerful chip. I upgraded it to USB-C. Um, so it'll be wonderful for CAN-based projects. And it's available now. Try it out. And with that, new products.